You've come up with some things to do in your location. That was lesson eight. We talked about all the entertainment, everything you're going to do there. Now is when we're coming to, do you have enough activities to fill five days? Principles of Hospitality and Tourism is the first course students take in the Academy of Hospitality and Tourism. It gives students an overview of the industry and introduces content covered in subsequent hospitality and tourism courses. Students learn about the four sectors of hospitality and tourism, accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, and transportation. They research how the industry has changed over the past 100 years and study the environmental and economic impact of tourism throughout the world. The culminating project is a central part of the course. Today's curriculum was putting all the puzzle pieces together. They've been working on accommodations in the hotel and the destination, the activities and the entertainment, all of those pieces. Now they're going, what do we do with it? Well, you're putting it together for someone to follow on this trip that you've created to that destination that every team wants to go to. They have applied what they've learned about the food and beverage industry to creating a special meal at a restaurant, and they have drafted the itinerary and populated it with entertainment ideas. Now they return to this document and flesh it out with the practicalities that will make or break the viability of their vacation package. You have to plan everything very detailed. Um, you have to tell them what time they're going, how much it costs almost exactly, the place that they're staying, the kind of room that they're staying in, lots, all that stuff. This course is student-centered. At every opportunity, students are in charge of the conversation. I'm going to say the destination, like why we chose it. I'm going to say the meal, like why we chose the special meal and where we're going and everything. Yeah, and I'm just going to say, say the, the itinerary. itinerary. The curriculum also revolves around developing key 21st century skills, such as teamwork, leadership, and well-developed communication. You just have to say, Oh, well, this is where we're going the first day, and how's it going to plan, and, you know, and then the second day, etc. The prompts on the board and the specificity of the task keep the students focused as they practice being articulate, thoughtful, and tactful with one another. San Diego, California is a beautiful place that offers beaches in a great city and ample amount of activities. I think it's fun to, for them to share uh, the excitement of a trip that they could take. That's fun to watch their eyes light up when they talk about that destination that they didn't know that there were certain activities to do at that destination. That's fun. Another benefit of group work on a long-term basis is the camaraderie that develops. It helps students get through the more challenging moments. The key of working well is listen to each other. That's number one. And because we all make mistakes and you don't know, maybe someone else might correct you. So that's the key. You have to like traveling and you have to know if you're good with people. If not, you're not in this class because like if you don't like to work in teamwork, you're not going to pass through because you have to like work together so you can succeed and that's it. That's why this curriculum is so wonderful is because you have to have the social skills in order to get along and work cooperatively. Okay, they want you to go over the lodge, the food and beverage, the entertainment. Literacy skills are an important component of this hospitality and tourism course. In each lesson, students get practice with reading comprehension or writing. For example, in this lesson, students are reading about how to incorporate environmentally friendly practices into traveling and applying this information to an assignment. They also incorporate the content into their culminating project work before taking on the next step of the project. We're like trying to get all our pictures cut out and put on designed all pretty and stuff. But I'm trying to work on the total cost right now. The day that the students have been working towards has finally arrived. Our vacation was to Miami Beach. You're going to land in the afternoon, go to your hotel, which is going to be the Tropics Hotel, that one. They are inspired to exhibit professional behavior. These opportunities to practice the skills that are necessary in the professional world are another hallmark of the hospitality and tourism curriculum. Students present their projects to an audience of administrators, advisory board members, family, and professionals from the community, as well as their classmates. Our special meal is shrimp scampi. It's like a buttery flavor, if you like buttery, and it's seafood stuff, and it's really fresh. It's from out of the Caribbean Sea. The larger audience helps students understand that they are doing meaningful work 
that could actually help them land an internship or summer job. Miami is great for high school students, especially at the time the trip is planned, which is spring break. Um, the students will pay for a Go Miami card, which will provide transportation to many of the activities and sites to be seen. I recommend this course to other students uh, because it's a really good course. It prepares you for the real world, and sooner or later, we all be basically working. So, I think this course is really a good way to prepare you for the outside.